What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the Google App Sheet application building platform and its different features. So AppSheet is a great platform that you can use to build web as well as mobile application without the need of coding and they can seamlessly integrate with other platforms and services such as Google Workspace. So let's get right to it. First of all, you need to go to their website that's about.appsheet.com or even go to appsheet.com or simply go do a Google search on Google AppSheet and you'll be redirected to their homepage right here. Now, if you scroll down, you can see some benefits as well as some like uh, photo representations of the platform itself and how it looks and how it feels. Now, you can get some animations as well as some like benefits and some features. So here uh, you can create applications and automate your workflow to increase the uh, size of your business using these applications and so on. Now here you can go to how to create an app to learn how to do so if you are new to uh, app creation or app building. And here you can view the different templates that you can use to build your app and you can view the pricing. So let's take a look at the pricing pretty quickly since this service is not free. So they have a starter plan which starts at $5 per user per month. So make sure you uh, like take in consideration the number of like em your employees if you are a company planning on buying this or uh, subscribing to AppSheet. And you have the core plan which is $10 per user per month and the enterprise standard and enterprise plus. So here you can compare the plans uh, or the features for each plan to uh, see which is best for you. Now let's go back to the home page here. And for any plan, you can click on get started to start using uh, the service. Now I'll click on get started right here. And now I need to log in. You can sign in with like uh, many services or many methods to sign in, including Google, Microsoft, Apple and others. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my Google account. And here they ask me if I want to continue to Google app sheet with this email address. So I'll click on continue. And now they tell me that there are some permissions that I have to allow uh, app sheet to access. So I'll click on allow here. And here the, uh, they'll ask me some questions in order to uh, recommend the service or give me better recommendations. So here, what team do you work on? Let's say I am like an independent. Okay. What process can we help you simplify? Um, let's say project and task management. And of course you can change these settings later. Okay, let's um, project text ma task management. Which best describes you? I am okay, comfortable with spreadsheets. Submit. So here you have two options. You can create an app from templates. You can click to export templates or start with Google Gemini, which is Google's uh, like AI model. And here you get like many templates to choose from. Uh, including like others uh, templates for like team directory uh, managing uh, like inventory or a Kanban board and stuff like that. So a project tracker. So let's go ahead and uh, start with a project tracker. And here I redirected to this page where they'll give you like an, a preview of the app on and how it looks on a mobile phone here. You have the options menu, main menu, you have the items here, you have the tabs here where you can like click on them to view uh, different options. So let's say this looks good. Let's click on copy and customize or you can look under the hood to view more settings. Let's go ahead and copy. Now here you, know, you need to enter an app name. Let's name it test app and the category planning and project management and you can go ahead and change the category if you want to. Now let's copy the app and now they are setting it up. Of course, in the uh, like templates, you can search for the type of templates that you want to. And now they are setting up the new app. This might take a while. And now I'm redirected to the settings page where I can explore my app. I can apply a theme or I can view the data. And here they give you some tutorials about how to edit your app and how to uh, like make it your own. Now here you can view the app sheets templates uh, once again. Let's go ahead and apply a theme. And this is where I can uh, change the look and feel of my app. By default here, it has a light theme. I can change it to dark. As you can see, it changes in real time. Or I can change between uh, many primary colors here for the app. As you can see, it changes like the color accents of uh, the highlights and the lines and stuff like that. And here I can change the app logo if I want to. 
uh, let's go ahead and uh, change it to this logo and here I can change the launch image or I can create a custom image uh, or add a link here I can add a background image if I want to or leave it to none uh, so here I have the header and footer now if I click as you can see if I hover over any part like the uh, header the main body the footer or the these items here I can click and uh, the edit on the edit icon right here to edit uh, the settings of this specific uh, like element here and uh, here I have the header and footer here I have the main body I can edit the view I can edit the data inside it I can view data source so if I click on view data source here it'll open up in a new tab and here I am redirected to a spreadsheet a Google spreadsheet with all the data that will appear in the app itself so here let's say this issue for example number that's ending with 91 with a, the name Ashley now here I have the task and I have the name and I have the starting and the owner and all of these uh, like data all of this data and if I go ahead and let's say this one uh, that ends with 91 I can track the name of the like owner and as you can see here it's ashley at company.com so here I can enter any information or any data here that I want uh, editing like basically editing this uh, Google Sheet will impact the data that appears here in my app now here I can go ahead like in these uh, items here in the calendar for example I can click on the edit and as you can see it opens up the settings for the calendar now um, the name I can name it like uh, date for example and in the view here I can add like a view it's a dashboard I can add change the view to calendar for example here I can change the view to a gallery a uh, detailed view and onboarding and so on so much more now here the position is in the let's uh, change it to DAC for example and uh, the position is first or next or in the middle or later and as you can see here there are only three so I can do uh, go so far now I can see here the view options I can sort by or group by and I can all for this data I can change tracker for this week uh, pending tasks and uh, I can add people or notes and so on so here you can see I can change the settings for this specific uh, like uh, menu item and I can change the display how it's display like change the icon let's change it to this one for example the display name and the show if if I want to and here if I go to any element I can change it so like the issue number uh, this I can change these elements uh, types uh, these are the primary headers for example I can change the secondary header and stuff like that and if I go here to the main body I can change the uh, view itself and as you can see this is like the space where I uh, do so and all of the changes are uh, I can click here to save them okay and now my changes are uh, applied and they are like uh, reloading the app and as you can see here you get the idea and you can change the view from mobile to tablet if I click on tablet view it'll get you the tablet view of your app now I can go ahead and play with all these settings and change everything here so if I click on this example on this icon for example I can uh, like edit the target if I click on it I can edit the position let's uh, make it a primary or hide it altogether here as you can see it's hidden now and you can change the settings for each individual item and now you get the idea uh, that's how you save your uh, like or edit your apps here and here you can uh, switch to the legacy editor if you want to that's the old editor and now you can go to my apps in the save here you can save or save and verify data if you want to now let's go back to uh, the app here my apps and let's try the Gemini let's see how it works and now let's click on create here or create an app and here let's start with the Google Gemini okay the terms of services I accept continue and now here it's typing it's generating so basically this is an AI model where you will tell it how you want your app to look like or what it, it does and what's the goal and what you want it to do and it basically will generate the app based on your prompts and that you uh, you enter so what would you like your app to do let's say uh, track my tasks okay enter and now here it will generate like a basic uh, 
layout for the app you can start over or click on create app here to start creating this app or start editing you you will go to the editor page here okay they are setting up the app and now you are redirected to the same editor but now your app looks different because here it's like a to-do list or tasks uh, like uh, tracking application and here they even generate some sample tasks here to get you started so you can view here the same views tablet and mobile and even desktop because as i told you at the beginning of this video you can use app sheet to create even uh, web applications so uh, let's close this view here and you can go ahead and edit start editing the elements the same method that i showed you so uh, this is basically it that's how easy it is to create an app sheet account and start creating your first app using google app sheet